Well, if you've ever hired a contractor, you know what you get isn't always what you pay for. The State Department of Insurance wants to make it easier for people to back out of contracts if they're not happy. CBS 17 investigator Steve Sprasia explains how it works in tonight's Consumer Alerts. There's no such thing as a free lunch, and there's no such thing as a free roof. Just last week, I reported on these flyers, bringing them to the attention of the State Department of Insurance. It implies insurance will pay for a new roof after the roofing company files a claim for the homeowner. Tell us what's wrong with this flyer. I would consider this as being misleading. Particularly troubling to investigators is language in this flyer suggesting the roofer can file that claim for the homeowner. One of our investigators reached out to the company and expressed our concern uh, just to put them on notice. But that's not the only company offering deals like that. I found out it's a frequent solicitation in neighborhoods all across the state. Anytime you and your entire neighborhood are given a quote-unquote free roof, that's a claim that the insurance carrier is paying. And it actually goes into what you pay for your homeowner's insurance down the line in future years. So what can you do if you've signed a roofing contract and you've now had second thoughts? A proposed bill would give you the right to change your mind. It has three major provisions allowing you to back out of a roofing contract within three days for any reason. Gives you 10 days to back out of a contract if you find repairs will not be covered by insurance and prevents roofers from acting like adjusters without a license. Russ Dubinsky says those opt-out provisions are important. We often see a lot of high pressure sales tactics, you know, uh, sign this contract on the spot, don't get any estimates. If there's anything that they feel was, you know, done um, out of their comfort zone, then they could back out of it. The best way to deal with a roofing contractor is to get an adjuster out to your home and then have him or her look at the damage and tell you how much you're entitled to recover under the terms of your homeowner's policy. The bill supporters are hoping that the lawmakers will take it up before the session ends in July. If that doesn't happen, they say they'll push again when the General Assembly resumes in January. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprayshaw.